I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, oh my god, to cut his beard, blah, 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 but I have more important things to talk about, so if you must comment on that, use the five seconds during the intro to do so now. What I wanted to talk about was a video that I said I was going to talk about, like, two and a half months ago, and that is my video on deep depression. Now, my daughter's taught me a few things, and it's that sadness happens, and sadness also feeds other sadness. Like, sometimes she'll have a dirty diaper and she'll start fussing, right? But it's not just the dirty diaper, it's just that she starts to fuss so much that she continually fusses. It's a self-feeding cycle. It's kind of like Newton's law of motion. A fuss that is set in motion will continue to go in the same direction unless acted upon by an outside force. Now sometimes, of course, that outside force can just be the passage of time, but there are certainly other times where sadness continually feeds upon itself and just relentlessly destroys my whole life. Like my daughter, I continually make my own self sad by continually thinking about how sad I am. But also, like my daughter, if there is an outside force that suddenly introduces itself, it can often break my cycle. For my daughter, it's the sound of the shower, the dryer, the air conditioner, or any other kind of big white noise. For myself, it's volunteering. Every time I get really super depressed, I have to do something for someone else that has nothing to do with me and has no initial reward for myself. So going to my job isn't the solution. But going and helping at the local food bank is. Or volunteering with the Habitat for Humanity. Or helping the homeless. Or knitting a cap. Or something else, raking someone's leaves. These are things that break me out of my own little box and dislodge the system that is continually keeping me depressed. Now that's not to say that there aren't other methods of dealing with depression. My method is volunteering, but yours may be something totally different. It may be getting counseling. It may be getting prescribed antidepressant drugs. It may be just as simple as making a phone call to a helpline. But the point is, get help. Because life isn't that bad, I promise. It always gets better. And I know it sounds like crap, coming from someone on YouTube, but it's true. Life gets better. Even the thing that sucks right now might be the best thing that ever happened to you. Thanks for watching my video, guys. If you would like to go check out other videos, there are some linked above. Also, there's a playlist linked directly above my head to my videos about my daughter, which I'm putting on my alternate channel. You can subscribe to the alternate channel, or you can just check out the playlist every once in a while, and there'll be videos there. You don't have to, and that's perfectly fine. I know that some people don't like cutesy baby videos, and that's totally okay with me. But if you do like that kind of thing, they're going to be on my alternate channel. You can go check those out. Thanks, guys, for watching. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and I will see you whenever it is that I see you again. Don't you worry, fundamentalists. The tradition of crazy hair is being passed down from generation to generation, I promise.